Hello boys and girls. Today we are working on lesson 18 in our Saxon math. And once again, remember to please put your name and date. Now I don't know how to pronounce this name, so I just make up a name. Dana ate three pancakes for breakfast. Three pancakes. Then she ate four more. Draw a picture and write a number sentence. Well, she ate three pancakes. One, two, three. And she ate four more. One, two, three, four. Three and four equals seven. My answer is seven, seven what? Seven pancakes. Divide each square into four equal parts. Shade three, four, ooh, now we're going a little harder. Shade three fourths, so I can cut it this way. And please don't color it in solid. <laughs> if you color them in solidly, I can't figure out where your lines are at. So one fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Another way you can do it is this way. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths. Divide the square into eight equal parts. Shade three eighths. So right here, we did three fourths. This is three out of four. Three out of four. Now we're doing eight. So you could do one, two, three. This is eighths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Another way is you can just draw seven lines like this or seven lines like this. And your final way that I know of to do it equally is you could cut these in half. So then it would make eight equal parts. But you can do it any way you want as long as you know these are equal. Now, of course, I'm not perfect, so my drawing is not perfect. But ideally, these would be more evenly spaced. And I'm going to color in or shade three out of eight. And so that looks like three eighths. Write three addition facts with the sum of ten. So we're doing addition facts. And so my answer will be 10. Well, I know nine plus one is 10. The commutative property is one plus nine. That's two facts. But I wanna be a little bit more original. I could do five plus five. I can do two plus eight or eight plus two. I can do three plus seven or seven plus two because of the commutative property. What is the value of these coins? Well, a nickel is worth five cents. A dime is worth 10 cents. A nickel is worth five. There's two of them together, so that would be 10 cents. Two dimes is worth 10, 20 cents. And then I can just add those up, 20, 30, 40, 5, 45 cents. Complete the number pattern while my pattern is going to be getting larger. And the difference between 31 and 21 is 10, between 41 and 31 is 10, 51 and 41 is 10, so my pattern is plus 10. If I couldn't figure that out on my own, I could always do 
Grab 21 and count up. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. So either way, I'm just going to add 10 to this. So the only number that's going to change is the number in the tens place. So it goes 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And you're going to keep your ones place the same. This concludes your lesson 18 in Saxon Math.